Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 99 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. Uh, just getting set up on the uh, old instance here, and uh, remember I made this awesome zombie center last episode? Yeah, I had so much fun with it. Um, so we made some cool stuff. Uh, definitely enjoy the uh, setup here that I've got. So basically whenever I drain the zombie scepter of charges, I can go ahead, throw it into the uh, network using either the ME access terminal or whatever I want. I even set it up so that I can access the the ender pouches here to uh, recharge it and we keep finding these stupid pieces of cake showing up over here I don't know what the deal is but uh, we definitely had a good time and also we uh, made this awesome sword I mean this sword is pretty much the ultimate enderman killing machine it's got sharpness 5 it's got disjunction 4 it's got unbreaking 3 we are awesome you see we charged up with more cake now we didn't charge it up with more cake but I'm wondering why there's more cake in here how come these pieces of cake just keep showing up all over the place? I don't know what the deal is with this thing. Hey, there's another one in here. What is up? I'm starting to get a little nervous about this cake, guys. I don't know what the deal is with this. I mean, I've been eating this piece out here, the ones that were left in the on the dirt, and, and eating the cake that was sitting on the dirt was fine, so I don't see any problem yet, but... Anyway, uh, yeah, definitely have an awesome sword, some pretty nice weapons against the Enderman. I'm starting to think that they might be uh, setting up something. I just haven't quite figured out what it is yet, but that's all right. Dude, there's another one. That's all right. I'm not too worried. I'm thinking, do I need any more defenses? I mean, I've got my emergency escape route at the sky base, but I'm just not totally sure that it's safe enough. I mean, I've got... All kinds of cool stuff going on up here between grenades and floods and force fields and, and even being able to route my items up here just in case we run into any kind of trouble. But, uh, you know, I think I'm pretty good. I can't think of much else I would need. Maybe I could do with an emergency escape bunker. Maybe. Maybe one more portal here? Well, I could create a miscraft age, maybe, to escape too. That might not be terrible. Hmm... All right, let's head back to our main base and get ready to potentially grab a miscraft age here. Um, why don't I start writing one up and see what I can come up with. Something just nice and safe and hopefully not too crazy. All right, here's the age I'm thinking of, right? I'm going with autumn woods, desert, extreme hills, green hills, meadow, plains, ocean, river. Just some of my favorite biomes on uh, the medium biome setting. We're also going to just have a normal moon, stars, sun, and weather. Uh, we'll just have a normal blue sky, maybe a little bluer than normal. Uh, some caves and dungeons, lakes and lava lakes, mine shafts, all kinds of normal stuff. So basically as normal of a, of a world as possible. And we're going to try and use this as like the ultimate sanctuary. Hence, we're going to call it Sanctuary. Cool. So let's see. Uh, maybe if I spell it right, it would be nice. There we go. So we've got the descriptive book for Sanctuary. What do you say we give it a shot, huh? I'm going to grab a linking book or two, and I'm also going to grab one or two regular old books. Cool. Let's give this place a try. So uh, this is the Exploration Age. We'll move this book out of here and pop it into here. And then we can go ahead and visit the descriptive book of Sanctuary. Let's see how we make out. Oh, I like that blue sky. That's a cool looking sky. Oh, I love it already. Nice world. There we go. Nice. I love it. Beautiful, huh? So that is a really cool age. We've got some desert. We've got some ocean, some plains. Yeah, we've got a really nice place to live. And even autumn woods. I love autumn woods. They're my favorite. <laughs> nice. All right, so uh, we've got some uh, linking books to get ourselves back home. That's going to be important. So let's uh, put one of them down. Right here. Now, the other thing I want to do is create a linking book here. So I've got this normal overworld linking book. I want to create a linking book right here that leads to this spot on Sanctuary. This way, um, I can be a little bit safe with my descriptive book. The reason for that is you really want to, you know, keep your descriptive book safe. Uh, in Miscraft lore, actually the uh, descriptive book itself is the most important book. Um, typically when people would write their ages in Miscraft lore, or uh, Mist lore, uh, they would do their best to protect the actual descriptive book, and it would be the linking books that they would use. So almost never would you see descriptive books just sitting around okay so we're gonna go ahead and do that 
All right. Uh, the descriptive book you want to you know keep somewhere safe in the age. Uh, for now, I'm going to keep it in this chest right here. So that's the descriptive book. We're going to make sure it stays as safe as possible. And uh, I'm going to create just another linking book back to this age. Cool. So there's Sanctuary. There's Overworld. Let's go ahead and uh, head back to our Overworld and see if we can't just come up with somewhere ultra secure uh, to build and store the linking book that's going to help us escape just in case there's any major issue that might come up, you know, maybe in the next episode or something. You know what? Just to be safe, I don't want the Endermen getting their hands on this book, so I'm going to snag the Sanctuary book right here. So now the only path to the Sanctuary Age is on my character. You're going to have to get through me, Enderman. So, what better to, uh, you know, make some reinforced areas out of? but reinforced stone. Oh, I love this stuff. So let's go ahead and put a blank pattern in here. So now we've got a nice easy way to encode and make ourselves some reinforced stone. Real easy. Reinforced stone now. Oh wait, yeah, now, wrong place. You go over here, buddy. Now we're talking. So let's craft up like, I don't know, 64 is probably a good start. Just a nice stack of the stuff. Cool. Not bad at all. Uh, so it's making the stone for us, as you can see, and then it's going to combine it together, do everything we need. Beautiful. So uh, I'm going to take this stuff, and I'm going to create a nice, secure bunker. Let's see what I can come up with. All right, guys, I found a nice little spot in the middle of a redwood forest. So let's build a nice bunker here. This is basically going to be our emergency escape bunker. And I'm hoping that the, uh, you know, positioning of this thing is going to work out for me pretty well. I don't think it'll be too big of a deal. So it's going to be a real simple path that leads deep underground and hopefully away from Enderman. Cool. So, let's see, I kind of like, hmm, how do I want to build this? Yeah, I got an idea. All right, so what I'm making here is a state cell. Uh, I can clean up some of the junk in my inventory. I could probably also use some more reinforced stone. How did that make out? I uh, requested some and yeah, I got two stacks of it. Yeah, I could probably use at least another stack. Couldn't hurt, right? Maybe even, ah, we'll go with the one stack, we'll be good. Uh, state cell, and I'd like some red alloy wire, please. That ought to do. And maybe even, just for fun, a button. Perfect. Let's go see what kind of trouble we can come on with. There we go. Uh, so right now, really, the only way to get inside this bunker, as it were, uh, would be to portable hole your way in. And you can see I uh, was messing with my rubber trees to get some resin. There we go. So I've got a three by three flooring in here, and that's not bad. That ought to work. I kind of like the idea of this. So let's see, if I were to uh, maybe place my button right here. This is where I want the control to be. Yoink. Uh, what do I want? That's probably good. Actually, I don't think I need that one there. Okay. So what I'm going to have is some uh, pistons, like so. One, two, three. One, well, actually, wait. No, I don't want these here. I want the back one. All right. Give me a sec here. A little bit further back. Yeah, like that. I always mess up my piston builds. Every time I place it down wrong the first time. You'd think one of these days I'd learn, but nope. Okay. And then dirt. Cool. Alright, let's finish this build outside. Cool. So from the outside, it looks pretty, uh, you know, obvious what's going on. I need some more red alloy wire. Let me go cook some more of that up, and I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, let's try this. I'm going to place this here. Uh, oh, you know what I don't have is a screwdriver. That's right, I never did make another one of them. I lost mine, I have no idea what happened to it. But it should be easy enough to make a new one. I think it's just iron, right? There we go, no fanciness. Just a basic screwdriver. All right, I think I want it to be like this. But let's shift click it like that. That's probably what I want, right? So let's test this out with our own button on the outside. There we go. Okay, cool. Really? Might have to move this up a little bit. I didn't really want this interacting like that. There we go. Of course, now it's, you know, a nuisance. All right, hang on a sec. Yeah, that's probably okay. Okay, and then this guy, like so. And this guy down to here. Pretty nifty, right? Now the plan here would be I'm not sure how well this would work. Let's give it a shot anyway. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. Because the button's down there. I might need a strip, which I should have on me somewhere. Or not. These will work. I love these redstone things. They're so much fun to build. Like that, right? So hopefully, because I don't want this redstone signal to affect that, but it might be in the end. We're going to have to see. For now, let's uh, break through this wall for a second, just so I can, you know, get in and out. Yeah, this is working. Ta-da! That's what I'm talking about. Now, uh, the only sticking point is this guy. Nuisance. But, that's okay. I'll uh, figure something out with him. Maybe I'll just leave him there so I can hit the button and then jump off. All right, so now that we've got this piece of the build working correctly, let's deal with what's going to be underneath, okay? So down here, I'm going to clear out a bunch of space. And you know what? I'm going to do it the easy way. Be right back. All right, guys, this should work. Haha. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, this is a long fall. <laughs> Perfect. That should work perfectly though, but you know what I forgot is glass. Like a noob. This is why I set up portals in between my main base and my build, because I always forget something that's important. That's what's going to be like when I fall. Cool. Really? All right, let's clear this area out. Boom. We should be seeing lots of activity up here. Now we're talking. Beautiful. Nice, clear way to fall down. So what's going to happen is, here we go, you ready? I'm going to be in here. 
all inconspicuous, and I'll hit the button. Boom. Down we go. And those, of course, were closed right behind me two seconds later. Perfect. Now, if I ever really wanted to get out, like, should I have a button in here to let me out? I don't know. I don't think so. Like, this is my emergency escape route, right? If I really wanted to, I could hit my uh, portal button, get out like that. That should work. Cool. Nice. All right, let me clean up this mess, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, this looks like a pretty... Uh, you know, nice little escape, escape bunker here. I'm just, uh, you know, tidying up the walls a little bit. Making sure it looks nice. Why you not want to be equal trading? There you go. Alright, now hopefully I have enough crystals here. We'll see. Yeah, that looks nice. Perfect. And inside, I think it was my blue bag, is where I put my linking book to Sanctuary. There we go. Perfect. Looking good, right? So, I have an escape route if I need it. Now, there's only one thing I'd like to do, and that is, um, you know, make my way back to that bunker. Uh, I could probably just portal my way through. I was right next to my house, after all. And I want to set up a portal spawner there. So, I'll set that up right now, off-camera. Or semi-off-camera, at least. So this thing I would like directly on the ceiling. Something like that. And uh, we're going to set the color to orange and yes. And I already picked out a frequency. Mm. Frequency 7. Evac portal. Cool. So what should happen is I should land right here. And I can do that and make my way out. Nice. Cool. Alright, now because I accidentally uh, activated the portal there, let's set this back to 1. And I'm going to head straight up to the sky base and add this to the turtle program. Alright, I think that works pretty well. Portal spawner. Evacuate! Okay, I lied. Why isn't it working all of a sudden? Alright, I know why it didn't work. I'm about to remedy it. Gonna need one of these. Some of this. And a bunch more than you expect of these. Chunk loader. But I'm making uh, something you've seen me use once or twice, but I don't think I ever actually just showed you how to make them. It's real easy. Uh, you get 10 spot loaders for this. Uh, so it basically allows you to chunk load 10 individual chunks. So let's go back out to our nifty little spot there. I think we can manage to make the way right through here. Cool. Uh, you know what else I wanted to get while I was here? Before I really forget, let me just get a little bit more of the reinforced stone. I think I only need two of them. That'll do. And it's time to chunk load this area. That's why my portal button didn't work. So let's just do a quick check with F9 to see where the where the chunk boundaries are. Okay, that's no big deal. All we gotta do is uh, chunk load the one that the uh, you know spawner is in and everything. That should be perfect. Not a problem. All right, let's try that once more by heading back up to our main base, our sky base. And then we can get rid of these lines and evacuate. Nice. Beautiful. As soon as we hit evacuate, we're right here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close up this guy. Cool. 
All right, now if you do want to get out of here and you're in this room, you can go ahead and activate the portal to go back to your house. That'll work. Now that I'm here, there's actually something I wanted to grab. That's right, some water. This is going to be the uh, last ditch defense. There should be almost no way that these Endermen can follow me if I do the following. Where's some water? This will do. Cool. That'll work. All right, so let's make our way to that evacuation area. Cool. And here goes nothing. You know what I could probably use? Hmm, this might actually help. Let me get right here. That's fine. Really, is that all the glowstone dust I have? Looks like I'm gonna have to get a little bit more of that stuff. All right, guys, I think that's, oh boy, getting chased. Pretty good. Overworld, home. Just wanted to have some glowstone. Because here's my plan. Let's demonstrate. Evacuate. So we're here, we hit the button, we fall down. Cool. Instead of this actually uh, being like this, let's actually put you in here. And do I still have my one of equal trade? I do. I knew I did. Perfect. Exactly enough glowstone. Which means I can now flood this place. That's right. I want to make sure the Endermen can't follow me to my new home. So if I flood this place out, well... Now we're talking. What I probably want to do is something like this. Temporarily. There we go. Nice and smooth flooring here. Cool. So this is nicely flooded. Excellent. So it leads straight up to the portal here. So the Enderman shouldn't be able to get in here at all. And uh, do I really, maybe even I want to flood a nice, maybe three by three area here a bit. Might not be a terrible idea. Let's see. Let's get out of here for a minute. Perfect. All right, guys, let's head outside, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zip over here and grab some more water. Just want to fill this up a little bit. It shouldn't take too long. Cool. Okay, so let's head on back. Always collecting crazy stuff. Drop off, clean up my inventory a little bit. Don't need this stuff. And this go away. Okay, cool. What the? What? What? Oh boy. This is not good. Where'd a hyd- how- how did a hydra get here? Um... I probably have my wand of lightning somewhere in here. There it is. What? How? This can't be good. Hold on. How is a hydra here? What is going on?
Thank goodness for this wand of lightning. Sure beats a sword any day, that's for sure. Dude. Well, that made a mess, didn't it? Alright, I think most of my base is intact. Holy cow, that is not good. Okay, I had to do a little bit of repairing of some things. Uh, how did a Hydra just show up out there? What in the... Man, there's like fire. We're having quite a mess. All right, I'm cleaning up all the junk that happens to have spilt all over the place because he knocked out a couple uh, blocks here. Just trying to keep as clean as possible. I'll do my best to rebuild this house, guys. Let's see. Where's my white ender pouch? Did I drop it somewhere and didn't notice? Ah, yeah, there it is. This will make it easier to clean up this mess. Alright, wow. <laughs> Real big mess, seriously. I'm just going to get rid of all these water bottles. I don't need them anyway. Not cool. Alright guys, just spent a few moments here off camera surveying a bit of the damage, and while I was there I was just thinking to myself, you know what, this was a large concentration of cake related stuff. I mean there was a piece there, a piece there, a piece around here. That makes me think. No, nothing crazy going on here. Nothing with these guys. Oh, there's another piece in the corner here. Why are there just pieces of cake layered all over the place? There's even another one here. Well I think, you know what, just to be safe, Maybe we want to just remove some of this stuff. I'm not too sure how I feel about this whole cake situation, but I can't imagine it's good. What? No! What the heck is this thing? I don't even... What? Holy cow! Where did this thing come from? <laughs> 